what's up everybody you know me i'm the big man on campus around here i'm the guy that hasn't missed a beer pong shot in over five semesters I'm also the guy that got six AP credits from high school just for being handsome. I also got into 20 colleges that I didn't even apply to. I'm also the social chair for fraternities that I'm not even a part of, gentlemen. And meal plan, you ask? Well, I have a personal chef on campus. Let me tell you something else. When a girl leaves my house in the morning, it is not a walk of shame. It's a walk of triumph. Now, my teachers tell me that they learn far more from me than I will ever learn from them. And technically, my major is awesomeness at the university determined that I'm too damn well-rounded to just study one thing. I'm also on the dean's list, regardless of my grades, every semester. And I have full use of faculty lots on every campus. Now, I know you're skeptical and you're thinking to yourself, why is this larger-than-life collegiate icon taking time out of his busy schedule to style on a profile and talk to you? Well, let's just say I have a heavy conscience. And I thought to myself, you know what? It is just straight unfair for one person to possess this much knowledge and power. So for the first time ever, me, the big man on campus, is gonna be answering your questions about life, love, and academic debauchery here live on SWAG. I guess, kind of think of me as like the older brother you never had. Or maybe just cooler than the older brother you really do have. Sir? Detective Lewis? This is New Caffrey. This is a search warrant. We're looking for the stolen FAA package. Hmm. Points for persistence. A lot harder to beat than a lie detector. They're the right to remain silent. Anything you I'm say familiar to... with the speech. Sarah, this is a really bad time. Agent Burke. Peter, will you please What's going on here? Neil stole the package. <sighs> Did you steal it? No. Mozzie? You realize what? Yes. You can't play. She's bad. Yeah. We just wait up for me? Miles, am I gonna have to be a tough ass on you? Shut up! No. You know what, Miles? I'm tired of your bullshit, all right? It's been your idea to go along on this little adventure. It's bad enough that I let you drag me into it, but now you drag Meg into it too? She's been nothing but great. And how are you gonna repay her? By being a freaking little girl and walking away? You know what, dude? Come to think of it, you've always been somewhat of a coward. The bus, the tunnels, the bum. You know what? I thought we could put aside our differences. It seems to me you're just too damn immature. Enough! Why can't you just admit that what you did to me was wrong? Sending me down there, in the cellar? <sighs> Compared to everything you put me through, that day doesn't even come close to it! You're wrong and you know it, Miles. Now you just don't want to regret something else for the rest of your life, do you? Danny Reagan's cell phone number. I'm waiting here so long, more than 15 minutes. Where's everybody? What kind of business? 15 minutes? Yes. That's ridiculous, ma'am. I'm sorry. I, I'm not in charge. I just work here. Trust me, if I owned a place like this, I would never make a customer wait that long. You know, I think the person you really want to talk to is, uh, is my boss, Sally. It's right in the back. Yeah, I would like that, please. Okay, well, we've wasted way too much of your time. Uh, God bless your patience. I'm gonna go run in the back and get them. Oh, jeez, I don't need this right now. What did I tell you? I thought you were gonna handle this. Why didn't you tell her that you were the boss? Are you kidding me? This lady was crazy. I don't wanna deal with these nut jobs. Wait, you think I just threw you under the bus? I tried to tell her I was in charge. She didn't want to hear it. She saw right through me. There's no lying to her. Oh, come on. You know I would never do that to you. I'm like your rock. Yeah, inanimate and useless. Alright, listen. Just go tell her I'll be right out. Oh, 